have you ever just had one of those days of fishing that makes all the bad days worth it all the days when you come out and you get skunked or you catch one and you lose five baits and you get hung up a thousand times or you bird nest your favorite reel and all the days that make you go why do i even enjoy this sport it can be the most frustrating thing ever in, in your life i mean for me i love fishing with a passion but there is times where it is probably the most frustrating thing i've ever dealt with in my life and then you have days like today today is one of those days that make you go that's why i do it we caught a ton of fish we shot some fish we got some great footage stay tuned and do it all with me it finally happened I finally got a day off work where we actually have decent weather. I've been trying to come out for a full day for, I don't know, a month now. Every day I had off it was either windy, like 25 mile an hour wind, or cold, or raining, or something. But today, it's about 70, it's going to get up into the 80s, low wind, we got cloud cover, I think the sun's coming out later. Uh, but right now it's just about just about right out here so I'm gonna get us through this little shallow part here Ooh. Yeah. that's what I get not paying attention Well, I had him. Look at the plecos down there. Jeez. Look at the size of these things, y'all. They're humongous. Jeez. You figure a bass would be up in that. I mean, that's what I figure. Just like that. I'm telling you. Look at that. Look at that. Right in the top. Both of them. Right there. White H and H spinners, y'all. Pretty fish. about to head over there try to fish some of these pilings Oh, I got one. I didn't even know it. I didn't even feel him hit it. Oh, man. He's not 
took that Guten bait off there, didn't he? Quit. That's two. Lost my bait though. Got lucky, y'all. Got lucky. Oh, I hit right below him. Bad shot, Wood. Bad shot. He scared me to death. Woo! There we go. He scared me to death, buddy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What you do that with these two troubles? I got you. Hang on. Just hold what you got. we go number three so far we've got one fishing on bottom with the soft crawl we got one midwater column when i was throwing the spinner and now we got this guy on top water they're really active today we're in some more kind of shallow water here so keep an eye out for tilapia and carp covering water with this top water bait I see fish jumping all over the place out here oh there he is oh he got off oh no oh there was a big gar right there man that's crazy I haven't seen any gar in this part of the in this part of the river since I've been here. So maybe it's warming up enough that they're starting to come up. What the heck was that? Oh, it's a carp. a big old carp there's stuff all up in here I know there's a lot of tilapia there you go ran a whole bunch of them out look, look. let's see if y'all can see this it's holy cow Holy moly. I never seen that before. It was like blue bajillion of them. He came out the he came out the lily pads after. Oh, I wish I had my camera on. He crushed it. It was like a redfish. Oh, it was so awesome. So I seen this guy, I'm chilling, and I see him doing circles right there around those lily pads. 
So I threw that crawl out there about two foot to the left and bounced it twice. He made a beeline out, nailed it, and just ran. It was like 100% redfish tactics. Oh, it was so cool. came off dang got it he was a nice one did he break another hook another one on the top water there you go Missed it. Another one on the white spinner bait. Mm. On the O H and H. Stuck in this mud. Oh. Man, it just barely hit the water. There's another one after it. Jeez. All right. You're decent. Yeah, you are decent. Yeah, you're a good looking fish. That other one's still out there. He's thick. He'll eat too. <sighs> Keep a couple of these guys. I'm gonna go back to the whopper plopper since this is so shallow. Makes him rack it on top. Ooh. That's what you gotta be careful. Oh, 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 got him. No, missed him. Doggone it. You messed my bait up. Now we out the kayak. Let's see what we can find. He hit it right here in front of me. I wasn't even looking. All right. Not exactly what I was hoping for. A fish, nonetheless. Now let's see if I can get this guy off here without getting hooked. Here you go. Anything's hanging out by that. Old rusted up lawn chair. I 
think that's what I'll name this. This is Lawn Chair Lagoon right here. Well, the sun is trying to come out, which means I can actually see a little bit better in the water. And we're coming up on this shallow place right here. So I figured I'd just do a little, I don't know, Placo shooting while I'm floating. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve right here. Let's get up over here. That's still kind of deep right there. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen. I mean, they're everywhere in here. got just a little bit of sunlight left and I got like one battery left so I'm gonna try to just get one more tilapia with the bow I've caught a crap ton of bass so and I just like I've caught of what I caught on camera I caught probably another seven or eight off camera so I'm good but I do want to try to get one more tilapia Let's see. Wait, there's a tilapia right here. I just saw him turn. I can't stand up because he'll see me. So I'm gonna try to sneak up on him sitting down, then stand up and pop him. I'm also fighting this current. He's still there. All right, his back's to me. That's right, baby, keep your back to me. Keep your back to me. No, now you're facing me. Now, oh, there's another one right here. There's another one right here. No, no, he ran off. Damn it. percent chance of there being some right here I got this good little drift going on right now the problem is is that I can't stand up because if I stand up they see me but if I'm down this low I can't hardly see them till I'm on top of them really you serious Is it just me, or is every kayak fisherman feel like that people on jet skis have the ability? It's like once you step on a jet ski and you fire it up, you suddenly have the ability to show up at the absolute wrong time for every kayaker on the lake. They could go by you 95% of the day while you're just like cruising it's no big deal but they always seem to show up when you need them to be like no waves no wake i need to be still and here they come it's it's some kind of weird magic try one more tactic 
wonder if I can walk the bank. Can't remember if this is all mud over here or not. see everything. How do they know? We done. No more. Alright, I'm gonna go hop back on the kayak. Take it down the falls over here, or the little rapids down here, and load up, go home, and clean fish. So, uh, appreciate you watching. Hope you had a good time. Today was definitely my best day out here on the guadalupe uh yeah game changer so uh take care we'll catch y'all next time all right bye